Hey, Sean here from SpeedCubeReview.com, and we're going to make a cube stand. I have a little template here. If you'd like to use that, they are in the description. You just print it out. And for this cube stand, it doesn't need any tape or cutting after you have a nice square. And the size of this is a little bit bigger than a cube. I also, I did not create this design. It was created by this person who does a lot of really cool origami stuff. So first off, you want to crease along these lines. And the first crease you're going to make will keep having the outside visible. And I'm going to just use the word outside and inside, meaning the visible and not visible sections to help identify. Because if you have a specific color you want or you print out this template, that way you know which way to crease. So we crease the outside from corner to corner and then this is a step that I like to do to make it easier for the last step you're going to crease the inside just from about there to there so about half that length so flip it over so the inside is showing you're just going to crease a bit from the inside here and the other way step number two you're going to crease from the underside, from the edge to the center. So if you're using my template, my logo is showing, and you're only going to crease between those dotted lines. We'll do that four times. Technically, this is only needed three times, but we're just going to do it four times. So we have something resembling a cube stand. We need to make it three-sided. So we are going to connect a corner to another corner. It doesn't matter which one you do. So you kind of have to pop one of those in. Increase that. There'll be a part here that we need to crease inside of it. So you can see that. And to keep this a little more stable, we are going to fold this over once like so that helps keep that a little more locked in place and the last thing is just pushing this inwards so it might be a little difficult at first but once you get that going that will just indent in and this is why i suggest making those extra creases at the beginning and there we go we have our cube stand this will stay together pretty well. If you want to not be super strict with origami, you could tape that as well. And there we go. So to test it out, we've got a cube here. And there we go. We have a lovely cube stand. Bring in the camera down so you can see this. So I'll have the template in the description you can print off and use. You can also just make your own. If you do make one with the template, please let me know. Uh, tag me on Instagram or Facebook and I would love to see it. Thank you very much for watching. Please leave your thoughts and questions in the comment section below. Hit like, subscribe for more content like this in the future. And as always, stop by speedcubeview.com for more news and reviews.